Hey you guys, it's Christina and I am so happy to be back with you today for another delicious video. Today we're going to be doing a what I ate today back to school, back to work bento box video. This is no ordinary video. This video is specifically designed for those of you who are on the go and who need some quick, easy, fun, and colorful recipe ideas that you can bring with you anywhere. You can eat these anytime and you can enjoy them. And they're fully raw and they're vegan. They're good for your body, they're good to help save animal lives, and they're good for the environment. It's a win-win all around. All of the recipes that I'm gonna be preparing for you today are in my Fully Raw recipe app. So if you're interested in having these recipes with you in a mobile form to bring with you on the go, they're in my app and you can check those out by clicking on the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the family because my channel is all about health and wellness and I'm so happy to have you here. I'm gonna be using bento boxes for this video. However, you don't have to have a bento box to make any of these meals. You can use any type of lunch box or Tupperware container of your choice. However, if you're interested in the ones that I'm using, I've just included a few Amazon links below so that you can check them out as well. As we move through these recipes, I'd just like for you to keep in mind that these recipes are fully raw and vegan because I have been a fully raw vegan for over 13 years now. If any of these recipes don't suit you, feel free to replace any of these items with other ingredients that better suit your taste buds. Feel free to be creative. These are just my recipes and my personal preferences, but I want you to have fun too. I'll be using my Kuvings juicer and my Kuvings vacuum blender to make these recipes and if you're interested in either that juicer or blender, you can also click the link in the description below. Other than that, all you'll need is a knife and a cutting board. All that being said, I'm pretty sure you're hungry and I'm hungry. Let's go ahead and jump right into these recipes. Let's go. I've organized these recipes according to breakfast, lunch, and dinner recommendations. However, all of these recipes can be used for school lunches as well. So feel free to use these for whichever meal you see best fit. Our first meal of the day is going to be a green juice along with raspberry oatmeal and chia pudding, almond butter, a fruit salad, and even a chocolate sauce on the side. Our second meal is going to be a Caesar salad with a creamy, delicious blended dressing topped with flax crackers and sided with veggies and even a citrus green smoothie on the side. Our third meal is going to be a cucumber noodle sesame tahini salad. For meal number one, we're gonna start off by making a delicious green juice using ginger, lemon, a ton of greens, cucumber, romaine, kale, more kale, kisses from dad, and a whole head of celery. This juice is high in minerals and phytonutrients, which is so good for your body and is gonna give you all of that good energy that you need to get you through the day. Yum! With my Kuvings, there's less foam, less oxidation. My pulp is always super dry. I love this slow juicer because it gives you the smoothest, most delicious juice. Pack it up and you're ready to go. Next up, our raspberry oatmeal, made by soaking your rolled oats overnight in almond milk, placing them in a bowl, and then mixing them with frozen thawed raspberries or fresh raspberries. Then you can add a little bit of coconut nectar on top as a sweetener or any other sweetener that you prefer. And then, scoop by scoop, you can go ahead and add this into your bento box. How delicious does this look? For our chia pudding, go ahead and add some almond milk into your chia pudding mix that is found on my Fully Raw Recipe app. Add in a little bit of coconut nectar as a sweetener and then you can go ahead and scoop your chia pudding into your bento box. Top it with sliced bananas and even some beautiful strawberry slices on top. I also added banana slices into my middle compartment, some extra raspberries and blueberries into my upper right compartment. And for the chocolate sauce, all I'm doing is mixing together some coconut nectar with cacao, whisping it with a fork in a tiny bowl, and then pouring it into one of your little bento box dressing containers. 
How cute. It's creamy, it's delicious, and it's chocolate. What more could you ask for? I'll place it in my bento box and then surround it with extra strawberry slices that you can use to dip into your chocolate. Meal number one is complete, and how beautiful and scrumdiddlyumptious does this look? It's nutritious and it's healthy. It's good for your body, your mind, your spirit. Kids can enjoy it too. This is all around a winner. And it's absolutely gorgeous. The next recipe we're gonna be making is an orange spinach basil smoothie. This is one of my favorites in my app and I'm gonna be using my Kuvings vacuum blender to make it, which is perfect because it tends to get rid of the majority of the foam, which is perfect. This smoothie comes out almost like a juice. It's the perfect sweet and savory mix. Pack it up and enjoy. Next up, we're gonna be making my Caesar salad dressing using cashews and hemp seeds, lemon juice, water, nutritional yeast, garlic, and a little salt. The full recipe is on my Fully Raw Recipe app linked below. Using my Kuvings vacuum blender, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the vacuum. And this is so cool because you can actually see the machine going to work here, removing as much oxygen from the container as possible. This is perfect to give you a smooth and creamy dressing with less oxidation. Look at this consistency. It looks just like a Caesar or ranch dressing. You can pour some of this dressing into one of your to-go bento box containers, just like this. And for the rest of the dressing, you can go ahead and pour it onto your salad and mix it in. Go ahead and fill up one of the compartments in your bento box with Caesar salad and any extra that you have, you can always pack up in a separate Tupperware or larger lunchbox container. You can even bring this container with you if you're traveling on a plane or on some type of a camping trip. This holds for up to 24 hours. For the croutons, I'm gonna be adding in crushed flax crackers, which are the perfect consistency to add on top of your salad. For the rest of the meal, I'm gonna be adding in some grapes to the upper right container, some flax crackers, some extra carrots, and even cherry tomatoes. That extra dressing that we poured earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and place in there with some celery sticks for dipping later. Voila, meal number two is ready to go. It is absolutely perfect. From salad, fruit, crunchies, and even a dip, with an extra salad on the side and a smoothie to go with it. I love this meal. Moving on to meal number three, we are first going to make my very easy lemon tahini dressing using only a few ingredients. All I did is whisk up with a fork tahini, lemon, water, and a bit of salt. You don't need a blender to do it, just a fork and a bowl. We're gonna pour this dressing on top of a cucumber noodle salad made with extra carrot, cilantro, and tomatoes. You'll mix it all together until the dressing is completely mixed in. And sometimes I like to cut the noodles just to make it a little easier to eat while you're on the go. Pack it up into your bento box container. Yes, I filled up two compartments in this bento box because I love this recipe that much. I've added in extra olives. I'll also add a little bit of chiffonaded romaine lettuce into the bottom compartment with the extra lemon tahini dressing. You can make a tiny little extra mini salad if you desire to do so there. And as if this meal couldn't get any better, we are going to add in one ripe, diced avocado into our last bento box compartment. <gasps> I love avocado. I don't know about you, but I am an avocado lover and adding avocado into this meal is perfect. It goes perfect with the noodles and the extra mini salad and even the olives. I'll scoop this avocado out with a spoon and if you'd like to sprinkle it with a little bit of salt at the end, feel free to do so as well. This is what I like to call absolute perfection. How beautiful does this look? This meal is the perfect mix of noodly, creamy, hydrating, sweet, salty. I think that this is my favorite meal that I have made with you so far today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you these delicious bento box meals. These can be easy school lunches, these can be 
work lunches or grab and go meals. These can be anything that you'd like for them to be. They're raw, they're vegan, they're highly nutritious, good for your body, the animals, and the planet. And I just don't think it gets much more colorful and delicious. And I just don't think it gets much more colorful and tasty than this. And like I said before, you can split these meals up into a breakfast, lunch, or dinner option, or you can eat each of these as any meal preference that you desire. These are supposed to be colorful and fun, and hopefully I've shown you that these can be easy and quick to make as well. All right, you guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, and if these recipes look delicious to you, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also remember that all of the recipes that I've prepared for you today are in my Fully Raw Vegan recipe app. And I'll put that link in the description below for you so that you can check it out with the specific recipes. If you're interested in checking out my Kuvings juicer or even vacuum blender, I'll also put that link in the description below for you. Hit the subscribe button when you have a chance because there's more epic dishes coming your way. I'm so grateful to be here with each and every one of you. I'm sending you all my hugs and my love and I cannot wait to see you in my next video.